Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Today, I'm going to attempt to remove the entire bedside off of my F-150. Reason being, I am trying to fix this catastrophe. Uh, so the previous owner told me when he first bought the truck, he ran into a box truck and it created this hole and he never fixed it. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is take this whole thing off. What's really cool is this is actually all fiberglass, not steel. So the entire bedside on this truck is fiberglass. The tailgate is steel, fiberglass. I don't know if you can hear the difference there, um, but it's pretty cool. This is back in the day before, you know, Ford went, you know, all aluminum. Uh, they were experimenting with different weight saving measures uh, and like durability of their truck beds. Uh, so the first thing I did, I did this yesterday. So there's like a little step here. You pull that off, and that's actually all fiberglass underneath. Check that out. It's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I was looking through all of the screws, and I think I found all of them. And I'll give you the step-by-step. -step. I haven't seen any videos of this on YouTube. So I'm going to try to make this uh, very detailed, and I'm going to take more care uh, in this video to get all the right angles and the right, um, the right views for you guys so you see what's going on. So as you can tell, I do have a drop-in bed liner here. I do not think I need to remove this. Um, so we'll go as far as I can. If I have to remove it, I will and then continue. But it doesn't look like I have to. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this tailgate. And I'm going to remove the tail light. Tail light is bolted in. So actually, what you got to do is you got to take that off. I'll take that off. It looks like it, I need to uh, remove this. But there is a... Uh, there's a bolt right there underneath and then there's another one right here so it's just those two and then it's clipped in and then you gotta just uh, pull out the tail light all right so as you can see here I uh, removed the cable and I removed uh, both of these screws and I'm just gonna pull the headlight uh, the tail light out here Should comes right out. It's going to disconnect these connectors. There's one. Just got to be careful. Well, <laughs> got to be careful. I don't know if you got that, but with these old connectors, the plastic is really brittle. Sometimes you just can't avoid it, unfortunately. Just going to go ahead and, oh, there that one goes. Well, there it is. Oh, there's that one. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, hopefully they just keep their uh, they stay connected when I re when I put them back in. But there you go. Tail lights out. Good to go. Now to work on everything else. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is take off this uh, protective uh, plastic top here. I do want to note that yesterday I did take this off, and there's a, a bunch of uh, uh, bolts underneath and I sprayed WD-40 on them covering them up overnight so I'm gonna remove this and then I'll show you the bolts and I'm gonna start taking off all the bolts a bunch of clips there we go and we're off alright so after you remove that top you're gonna see you've got a bunch of these bolts here is with washers that's three four and five all right and then you have two over here on the step side just want to make a quick correction there's actually three down here on the step so one I took one off and I just noticed there's a third one right there I just want to show you guys how I'm doing it I'm just using a normal ratchet it's a real small one 10 millimeter socket there's a three ace so that's uh that's just the quarter inch uh, drive that you put on the three A's. Um, nothing crazy, all right? Comes off, just make sure you use two hands. You gotta make sure you get it in there. There's a lot of rust, a lot of paint. Make sure you get it nice and flush and just push nice and easy. Don't wanna strip any bolts. Okay. 
coming up. There you go. All right, we've got a couple more of these uh, screws to take out. There's one, two, where the uh, tail light assembly is. And then I'll show you under here. All right, so I'm under uh, under the vehicle right now. There are these two bolts that are attached to this guy. I guess it's like some kind of support beam, but we're gonna have to take those out. And then there's another one I'll show you up here. So right over here, this is the rear bumper. Right over here on the other side, there's another bolt. So to give you an idea of where all these, these three bolts are. Ugh. So here's the rear bumper. One of them is under there. And then the other two are literally on the bottom. So the one over here is inside. And then it's these two. I just want everyone to know those two screws on the bottom that are uh, attached to that reinforcement bracket, they're the only screws that look different, all right? Everything else looks like this. These guys are bigger. All right, and there is one bolt, so right here, these are the clips for the step side on the bumper. Right under here, right under there, there's one more bolt. I'm gonna have to remove these. The way you remove these is that you gotta like push them in and then push him out. I'm going to use a screwdriver for that. So I just got to rip rip this guy out here. There's some. All right. I can't see where the clip is from behind, from underneath for this guy. But let me just work on this here. Pull this guy out, get that last bolt, and I think this whole thing should slide off. Success. Took it off. Had to wrestle with it a little bit, had to move that around. Have, just had to, you know, if you pull up real hard, it comes up. The trick was to get this clip fully out. Once that clip was fully out, you just take it and you turn it out like that, it comes right out. All right, so annoyingly enough, there's a bolt all the way in there that um, holds a bracket onto the from the fiberglass onto the metal part. Um, and I don't have all the proper tools. What I do have is this 3 8 drive flex head. The issue I'm having is as I put it in and then go to the bolt, the head flexes too far back and it won't work. What I'm going to try to do is take this zip tie here, zip tie it around the, uh, the joint here, and hopefully that will reduce the flexibility and give me the push I need to grab a hold of the bolt and take it out. All right, that's how it looks like. Let's see if it'll work. All right, it surprisingly worked. And I just want to zoom in just to give you an idea of where that is. So that's the, uh, that's the ratchet. That's the side of the ratchet. Yeah, it's not very good, but it is working. I am cranking. Got her. Right here. That actually worked like a charm. Pretty cool. So if you don't have a locking swivel head, a zip tie will work just fine. All right, now we're going to take off these little bolts that hold the wheel well on. The wheel well liner. Looks like the wheel well liner Part of it's attached to the metal side, part of it's attached to the fiberglass side. I'm gonna take the fiberglass side part out. I think it'll just make things easier. There's only a couple of them. And then this thing might slide out. Wonderful. 
Oh man, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am. Oh boy. Look at that. That's a pretty cool design, I'm not going to lie. So one thing over here, there's damage to this bracket. I don't know if I could... Yeah, you could see how it's all not straight. I'm going to try it. So that happened when the guy hit the box truck. I'm going to straighten out this piece here. I want to hammer that kind of more angled that way. Um, if you guys noticed before, the fiberglass was kind of pointed out at like a 45 or 30 degree angle, something like that. That's because this is twisted inward. I got to twist it back, you know, this way, inside that way. I'm going to try to do that with a sledgehammer. Then I'm going to buy myself a fiberglass repair kit. And then I'll show you how to repair the fiberglass on a step side F-150. Thanks for watching, guys. That was immensely satisfying. And I'm looking forward to the future of this truck.